today we're going to be going through and installing a Raspberry Pi into one of the best cases that I have found all around. So by default, you can get a case kind of like this to where you got the Raspberry Pi 4. That's a Raspberry Pi 4, 4 gig version. I've removed the SD card. These are nice cases, but the problem is these pies run hot. So instead, we're gonna go through this guy. Put that right here. We're gonna use this Villaros aluminum case. This one is in gray. They also come in black, which honestly, I prefer the black look, but that's okay. Want to get something different? This is what was in stock. So the reason why we go through and do this is because the pies fours just gets very, very, very hot. So as we unpackage this guy, ooh, first time seeing the silver. It's all aluminum, which is the awesome part about this. So when we're going through and doing this, this is everything that comes inside. You've got little stoppers for the bottom. You got some screws right up there. Looks like those are thermal pads that you could go through and use. Comes with a Allen wrench and Phillips on this side. Small tube of thermal heat sink paste. And then the instructions. So it says to go through optional is apply the thermal compound. Thermal compound is used to get better heat conduction. It'll still heat, or it'll still go through and function without it if you don't want to do that. I'm gonna absolutely suggest we do so. So they talk about put some thermal paste on there, then we're gonna slide the Raspberry Pi into here, and then apply the paste on top. So instructions are simple. Let's do this thing. So first, crack the seal on this. Put a little bit here. Put it on the bottom. Should be good there. And now there are little spacers here and then little holes. Again, there is no micro SD card in here right now. this first because we have to fit these into the hole first so slide it in and then down little pegs line up just right there good deal now let's get the rest of the thermal compound on these guys so this is the CPU This is our RAM chip. Now, these next two, this is gonna be these guys here. I'm actually gonna put it on this side. Now, one of these is for the USB hub, and the other is for the ethernet, because there are two separate buses on the Raspberry Pi 4 which gives you a heck of a lot better throughput on both. Put that over there. Take this and simply set it down. It's pretty clean all the way around. Let's go ahead and put this here now. We're gonna go ahead and remove our screws. Pretty simple. Nice thing that I like about this is that it comes with the tools needed. So if you're buying this as a gift, this is great because you're not going to have to worry about needing additional tools. Let's 
turn across everything. Keychain. So we're not gonna use the stickers because we actually use the thermal paste. Last step is to put the feet or the bumpers on to make sure the metal, even though it's powder coated, doesn't go through and scuff tables or such. And it gives it a nice rubbery, rubbery grip to grip onto something so it doesn't want to move, which is great. So there is your Villaros Pi install. Worth every penny because this thing stays nice and cool now. With that, let's get rolling.